Hi guys, I'm Skeena Benscore and I'm here for 1.8 News. Today we're here at the House of Laws to speak to the powerful people who make decisions about your life, your health and your well-being. And we are here to get your voices heard today. Thank you, uh, Lord Collins, for hosting uh, us and for your leadership on the well-being of adolescents. PMNCH is convening the 1.8 billion Young People for Change campaign, a global youth-led effort to mobilize increased better actions for adolescent well-being. Young people have a real sense of kind of lack of trust with people who are making decisions for their life. What could you tell us today and what could you tell young people out there today that's really going to reassure them that you guys are really making the right decisions for their health and their well-being and the things that really affect them in, in life today? Thank you. So Save the Children has just released and released something called the Adolescent Health and Nutrition Index. And the purpose behind this piece of work is to really identify how far our country is going really to support adolescents and young people. So we've looked at you know, health nutrition indicators and gender indicators across 75 lower middle income countries and also looked at what are the policy and financing provisions in these countries. So if you're a young person out there and you're keen to advocate for yourself, please join our index, go online and look at it and find out what is your government doing in your country to support you to meet your health and nutrition needs. And hopefully you can also provide feedback to us. I don't laugh at this, but the Youth Forum for Parliamentarians is for people for members of parliament who are under 45. Now, but there's, there's a serious reason for that, and that's because whilst over half the world's population is under 30 years of age, only 2.6% of legislators are under the age of 30. How do we politicians and policy makers ensure that our actions actually reflect the needs of adolescents? My answer might sound very simple, but at the same time it's quite uh, complicated at the same time. Uh, ask them, ask adolescents and young people what they want, what they want for their health and well-being. Um, and although this sounds very simple, I think that the, the context and, and how to achieve this might not be so simple because I think that one of the gaps that we have when it comes to asking young people what they want is being inclusive in who is res responding to these questions. The work that PMA Search has been doing to really um, get you in the room and, and listen to around that table, not in a tokenistic way, which I've seen in the past where, you know, somebody was sitting in the margins of a meeting, but right there in, you know, the top seats. Yes. Um, and that, I think that is, that's something I've not seen before. And I think that's, that's changing. And this is just the beginning of this wave. So there you have it, guys key issues affecting your health and your well-being discussed today in the House of Laws. Now it's up to you if you want to get involved and get your voices heard.